Tenerife tsunami warning, catastrophic volcano eruption could devastate Canary Islands. And this is uh, the Tenerife Island is the biggest of the, the Canary Island volcanoes. The Canary Islands are volcanic islands as we know. This is the map coming up. You'll see at the nine o'clock position is La Palma, which is erupting now. And uh, then you have the bigger one. The Tenerife is basically in the middle. And uh, underneath La Palma, you have El Hierro. So La Palma and El Hierro are the new hotspot that you see right there. Tenerife is uh, around the uh, right to the right of them. And um, these are all volcanic islands off the west coast of uh, North Africa, as we can see. So this is what they're warning about. What can happen if they have a landslide from these volcanoes? Scientists have warned that a volcanic eruption in Tenerife, which is in the area of uh, the La Palma, which is erupting now, could trigger a tsunami that could cause a catastrophic effect. This comes as scientists assess that the impact that an episode of multiple extreme events in Tenerife, which is located in Spain's Canary Islands, would have today, by reconstructing the last major geological cascading event that took place in the Canary Island 180,000 years ago in Al Abrigo, they were able to analyze what consequences it would have if history repeats itself as it did then. The results appear worrying, but the risks are said not to be immediate. It's what could happen. Now, in a simulated scenario, experts showed main urban centers and possible evacuation routes of Tenerife would be struck in the event of an eruption, as they could be enveloped by pyroclastic flows, deposits, and ash flow. Around 180,000 years ago, Alabrigo's eruptions also caused a, sea, a surge of seismic activity when part of the volcano collapsed and scientists warned that if this happens again it could of course be catastrophic effects on several parts of the islands triggering a devastating landslide this would reportedly result in a, a tidal wave a volcanic tidal wave a tsunami that would most likely have a severe impact not only on the northern and western coasts of tenerife but also on other coasts of the archipelago in the area support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. CSIC's Geoscience of Barcelona said in their statement Extreme geological events are natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, landslides, or tsunamis of low probability but high impact. They represent a risk for today's society due to the difficulty in predicting them, of course. And uh, they said these episodes which can produce chain effects and have a significant local and global impact are potentially probable on volcanic islands such as the Canary Islands. But Marta Lopez Saavedra, lead author of the study, did give some reassurances that this is not likely to happen anytime soon. It's just a hypothesis. She says, at present, the Tenerife volcanic system is not in a situation similar to that of the last caldera eruption. In fact, reaching the conditions for an eruption like that of El Abrigo may take thousands to hundreds of thousands of years, she also said that while the risk is currently low, there is a slight chance of a disaster in the future. She said zero risk does not exist, and unfortunately it's not yet possible to predict such eruptions. The problem with natural disasters, especially the volcanic eruptions, but also earthquakes, landslides, and um, tsunamis, is that they are difficult to predict and therefore, of course, difficult to prepare for. That's why researchers thought it was key to try and understand and formulate some sort of prediction based on past eruptions in these volcanic islands, the Canary Islands. The study was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Solid Earth. And it comes after an eruption at the Cumbra Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma, which is erupting now. And if you see the video before this one, because of the... Um, 
4.3 and then 3.8, 3.4 earthquakes. The volcanic earthquakes there, geologists say they believe that uh, the eruption will get worse as new lava flows open up. So um, in the initial eruption of La Palma was September 19. It destroyed homes in the area and led to the evacuation of 6,000 people. On September 28, the lava reached the sea and clouds of white steam could be seen as it made contact with the water. The Spanish government declared the island a disaster zone as concerns were raised after the volcano when two new vents in the earth were opened, raising fears of toxic gases. It forced three and a half thousand people to be uh, log in, in lockdown for their own safety. And the Spanish emergency services said in a statement, the new lockdown is a consequence of meteorological conditions that prevent the dispersion of gases, the volcanic gases, of course, and keep them at low levels of the atmosphere. This is on Express UK by Jacob Paul. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.